Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon. Today we'll go through the example of Spring Cloud API Gateway as a part of the Microservices Java example series. Uh, so before we get into the example, uh, let us understand the base of it. So as I explained the whole architecture in my previous uh, example of the series, so this is an extension to that. So we will have a two microservices, one is called API Gateway, that is nothing but itself will act as a gateway, a route to the, all the requests and we will have one of the service like a catalog service uh, and that will be the running behind the uh, microservices which will have a majority of the data related to catalog and all other things. But here we will understand what actually API Gateway means and how does it have a configuration related to catalog service. So uh, we require this dependency. This is the most important thing in this uh, in this example. Like you should have a Spring Cloud starter gateway dependency uh, de based on your the parent POM what we have or a parent uh, cloud or Spring Boot dependencies what we have or that that will take uh, from the parent itself. But it depends upon your configuration. And we will modify some of the configuration uh, file like YML file which is required to tell us which route it has to take take if it if it wants to interact with other services uh, currently it will be running in 8062 with my configuration but it will depend on how uh, depend on your configuration so what it is like api gateway will redirect all your request based on the incoming request uh, request paths so all the clients or maybe you can say ui will only know about this and it, it will never know about other services exist or works behind the scene uh, to interact with the api gateway so let us uh, jump to the example so as i said uh, you can see uh, already i am running the api gateway uh, uh, gateway microservice here so you can just uh, create a microservice using uh, spring initializer.io so as i explained in my earlier example as well uh, uh, due to the time constraint i am just already running the services like api gateway and catalog service as well uh, you can see my api gateway is running on 8062 okay you can see the api gateway here as a given and you can see my catalog service is running on 8063 this is the catalog service and this is the api gateway what i have okay uh, if you look at it the build gradle so this is the we have implementation as the dependency or that this is the gateway dependency which we need to have in the api gateway and then the catalog service i have created just like one controller or maybe more but i'll take it as a one example from here like a health check controller where you can see you have a catalog health as a request mapping and status as the path or there uh, now let us just test the, this catalog service as an independent one now so if you go to the this one so you can see this is the catalog service which is running and i am trying to hit catalog health status and it is showing up catalog and service that's because i just configured it here you can see catalog health and status so I just added a curve over there so it will just have it like a information like up catalog service this is a simple flow I'm trying to explain here so the path is like catalogs health and the status that is the how your rest api path is looks like now it's a direct accessing your catalog service now how do we access through this api gateway or how do we configure this api gateway so in the AP, if you come to the api gateway I'll just close this this is the build okay let me go to the api gateway application.yml so i configured this here as a catalog gateway i have registered catalog gateway in api uh, uh, register is a wrong word but i, I made a route in the uh, catalog uh, catalog service in, in the api gateway so you can see uh, this is the how the configuration looks like uh, this is very important to make sure that you, you are able to access your catalog service using a uh, uh, api gateway this is the like this is the main like spring cloud gateway discovery uh, enabled it locator is unable to lowercase service id because i just agree on a service id is in the lowercase unable to accept it uh, this is the most important one which we need to concentrate id is catalog service this is nothing but my catalog service um, microservice uri is nothing but 8063 which i am running uh, catalog service as i said like i am running this catalog service in 8063 
and this is the predicates this is nothing but roots which you are configuring so i'm allowing the path which comes slash catalog star, star means you all know like it will allow everything after that so i'm just allowing everything start uh, with a catalog and rest rest all the uh, rest api paths i'm allowing it here so if you see it here uh, if you look at it here so if anything comes after catalog everything i'm allowing it from the api gateway so that is i given a star because i want to allow it uh, all the rest apis which 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 configured in the catalog service for example now i see now i want to access catalog service using this api gateway so now path will be like 806 to port which i'm which i'm running the api gateway so let's try to run the catalog service through the api gateway so this is the one i'm trying to explain simple example see here i'm also i'm getting the uh, catalog service as the output okay so now let us understand see here you can see 8062 localhost 8062 that is nothing but my api gateway url or api gateway port which i'm configured and this is the same what catalog service already has like catalog service health and status which i'm trying to call from a api gateway how it is possible i'm through the port change see if you can you can configure different paths and everything but for a simplicity i just kept it as like a, you can say the port change and the same path which are trying to access. see if you are having a 63 as a port this is nothing but the catalog service port and trying to access it's, it's as if like you are accessing or you are directly connecting to a catalog service here but here you can see you can directly connect or interact with the catalog service using a api gateway this is this is a very simple concept and then this is this acts as a router for you and based on the all the security and all the configuration we can make it more uh, effective but for example i just kept it very simple uh, all the security related information and everything I'll, I'll keep on adding with our example as we move on to the next examples with the series okay i'll just tell you a few more changes as well uh, if you look at i have configured order and payment service which i created here okay and if you see i created two paths here so anything comes as order it should allow anything comes as a payment it should allow or i may go to the specific urls as well in future like i just like allow order uh, get order id or or get or maybe the uh, order uh, track something like that like order track and slash i'll allow anything so it's based on your need uh, how you want to configure as, as a whole application or as a whole design how you want to do but this is the most important thing uh, when you are working with the uh, uh, spring api gateway cloud api gateway so before we you might use the zool and everything which i covered in my earlier examples but this is more with respect to spring uh, cloud api gateway so this is the format which you need to define uh, to achieve this end-to-end uh, -end example with a or, or maybe routing example with a gateway so I'll, I'll come up with the next examples I'll, I'll try to add all the details into the comment section of the uh, comment section in the youtube so you can view and we can just I'll, I'll try to upload everything in the github as well as soon as i finishes the logical uh, end to each example so I'll, I'll upload into youtube as well so thank you thanks a lot